Emily Adler. Welcome to the Buttery Bay. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite things to eat, spinach ricotta nudi. Yes, I said that, nudi. They are not gnocchi, though technically a gnocchi is a dumpling. Nudi, which means little naked, so obviously it's delicious, um, is almost like you took the filling out of the ricotta and spinach ravioli and just made it into a little ball and ate it itself. It's very simple. We're making a small amount today. It's just me and Jeannie for lunch. Super excited to have her over. So we're gonna do a tomato sauce and the gnocchi, nudi. For the nudi, we have one cup of whole milk ricotta, one cup of greens, which we'll talk about in a second, three quarters of a cup of flour, and add some nutmeg and Parmesan. And then the tomato sauce is two cups of roasted tomatoes, or you can use one can of diced tomatoes. I happen to have a lot of tomatoes today. A cup of water, two cloves of garlic, and butter, because butter is amazing, and I'm the buttery babe, so obviously we need butter. We're gonna get the sauce started first so we can have time to simmer while we make the nudie, because they're very quick. So in a little sauce pot, we're gonna add two cups of roasted tomatoes. Again, if you have one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, that'll work perfectly. You can throw them in there with the juice. These are the Sun Gold and Red Roma cherry tomatoes that I grow in my garden. We're gonna add a cup of water so that there's a little liquid and it's a sauce. Two cloves of garlic, they're whole. We're gonna whiz this all together when we're done. And two tablespoons of butter and naturally salt and pepper. As always, I'm using my Morton kosher salt because I like that I have complete control. So two good pinches of that. And pepper mill, a couple good cracks of black pepper. We're gonna just turn around really quickly, put that on the burner on low so it can do its thing. You don't need to worry about it for a little while. Discuss the nudi. So as I said, we have one cup of whole milk ricotta. I'm only making two servings, so this is gonna be plenty. If you wanna have a big party, multiply, but you can't really divide it. It's not gonna get much smaller. In my tea towel, which is just a plain linen, I have one cup of greens. Today we're using Swiss char, which you can see is multicolored, only because that is what I picked in the garden yesterday. In a regular day, when I'm not outside in the garden, one cup of frozen chopped spinach, drain it really well, and then put it in your little towel and squeeze, 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 because you want all that moisture gone. See how nice and dry that is. So, I'm gonna take my little ball of greens and put them in their own bowl and break them up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little pinch of flour on them and kind of work it through. That'll help it um, absorb any extra moisture that I didn't pull out already from squeezing it. This also works if you're making muffins for the chocolate chips or the fruit, it helps it float. See, now you're done with that. Your fingers are probably a little bit gross, but that's okay. So, with our one cup of ricotta, we're gonna mix in half a cup of grated Parmesan, one egg, gonna wipe our hands off because they're kind of slimy now. Generous salt and pepper. And a pinch of nutmeg. What is nutmeg? It's this little ball of deliciousness. It's a spice. Julia Child was known to keep one in her purse because not enough chefs use it. I'm gonna grate it on my little mini grater, but you can get this already grated. Just make sure you use it up within a year or it gets really mild. The nutmeg is gonna bring out the flavor of the cheese and also the flavor of the greens. Just a couple grates will do you. It's pretty strong, it's delicious, you'll love it. That's gonna hang out over there. I'm gonna take a spatula and mix these all together. We wanna get the ricotta well mixed in with the egg before we add the other ingredients. It'll help keep it nice and light. This is a great, easy first course, or even I eat it for dinner all the time if the bunny doesn't come home. Um, it's packed full of protein because you've got all this luscious, luscious whole milk ricotta. It's 
got iron from the greens and it's super easy because we're going to make these in real time. Also nice though, because if you want to put the dough together in the morning before you go to work, it can hang out in the refrigerator while you're at work and then you can just make the little balls and cook them when you're ready for dinner. Now we're going to mix in our greens. So again, this is one cup of greens that we just mixed with a little bit of flour. These are much more vegetable to cheese ratio, which makes them more of the nudie instead of the gnocchi. But again, gnocchi just means dumpling. So mix it all together. Mix, mix, mix. I'm just trying to get everything nice and incorporated. And then we'll put in the flour and just mix that briefly so that it doesn't get tough. Isn't that beautiful with all the little flecks of green and this one's got some pink in it from the shark. Now this is a cup of flour. We're not gonna use it all. We're just gonna start with about half a cup and look at it. We'll probably need about three quarters of a cup, but it really all depends on how much moisture was in your ricotta to start with and how much moisture was in your greens. So that's about half a cup in there. And we're gonna mix it all through and it's gonna form almost like a very soft dough. Don't be afraid to make a little mess. The kitchens are meant to be cleaned. So you wipe it on the counter, big deal. Just make sure it gets nice and mixed. What I'm gonna do is wipe down my spatula and then my fingers and get in there a little bit. See how it's made like a nice soft dough? Looks like half a cup of flour was gonna be just right for today. So, that's nice to mix through. So again, that was one cup of greens, one cup of ricotta, half a cup of flour, half a cup of grated Parmesan, an egg, and a little pinch of salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Now we're gonna go to the counter and we're gonna make the little balls. So we've got our nudie dough. Over here we just have a little sheet pan with some flour. You could use a plate. I have that, so that's what we're gonna use. The nudie are super easy to make. You can use a tiny cookie scooper. You can use a tablespoon. You could use your fingers. You just wanna take a ball about that size and roll it. You're basically, you're making a little meatball. See how we're just gonna roll them? Super easy. And then you just roll them in the flour. That's gonna help them hold together and I'll also make it easier so that if you wanted to like do this and then hang, let them hang out in the refrigerator for a little while while you freshen it up, no problem at all. I'm gonna keep on rolling and then we'll be back in a flash. Hi, I'm Emily Adler, the Buttery Babe. Welcome back to my kitchen. We're just continuing on with our greens and ricotta nudie making. Now remember we use Swiss chard today? Spinach is totally good. So the nudie are right here. They've been rolled out into their adorable little balls and then rolled in flour. The water is simmering, as is the tomato sauce. So this was two cups of baby tomatoes, but you can use a 15 ounce can of dice, it'll be fine. Two cloves of garlic, half a cup of water, and two tablespoons of butter with a little bit of salt and pepper. We brought it up to a boil and then we reduced it down. I'm gonna turn that off and give them a little zhuzh with my immersion blender. It's gonna make a chunky bit of a sauce and then we want it ready so that as soon as our nudie are cooked, we can eat. The camera girl could just back up a second. I don't want her to get splashed. This will make a little bit of a splash, don't worry. The fun with this, is you can make the sauce as chunky or as smooth as you want. And again, our sauce is gonna be a little bit of an orange color today because we have yellow and red tomatoes. I'm just making sure that I get the tomatoes broken down and those two cloves of garlic. See, I left it a little bit of chunky. A couple more zhuzhs and we'll be good to go. Okay, 
Now that's a nice sauce. I'm gonna keep it on a low simmer so it can thicken up just a tiny second more. And then I'll pop that. Our pan, that'll give us more control of where the nudie are. We can see where they're going and they won't escape to the bottom. We're gonna heavily salt the water because it is bringing flavor to our delicious lunch. Now I have myself ready, I have my nudie, I have a plate to drain them on, and on, <laughs> little excitement, just a slatted spoon. You can use the slatted spoon for two things, to evacuate the pan, but also to drop them in there. I'm comfortable just dumping them in, but if you don't like to get your fingers close to the boiling water, totally understand, just pop them in there. We're gonna lower the flame just a little bit. We only want them to come to a simmer. We don't want a hard boil or they might fall apart. And you can do this in batches. You don't need to cook them all at once. They're gonna only cook for about three minutes because we're just cooking that egg through. I'm gonna do half of these and then we'll get the other half in for the next batch. Let them do their thing. Because I am gonna do two batches, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on the plate so that they don't stick. And that's just gonna hang out there. So you'll see, when you look at your nudie, they're happy, they're swimming in their little hot tub. This is why I like the shallower pan because nobody's escaping from me. I can see them all. I know what they're doing, what they're thinking what their next plan is. There will be no nudies plotting to take over the world on my watch. And again, these are just gonna take about three minutes, maybe less. See how pretty they are? In their little hot tub. Ooh. Okay, these are ready to rumble. The first time I had the nudie, I was living in Florence and I thought I had misread the menu because I was young, just learning to speak Italian. I'm like, did they really mean that? But they did. So here we go, just evacuating them with our little slotted, slotted spoon. We don't want too much water coming with us. We're gonna pull them out. See? You've got the flecks of Parmesan, you've got the greens, a little bit of ricotta holding it all together. It's a delicious first starting course or an entree. Well, here we are at the Buttery Bay, just taking our second batch of nudie out of the pan so that we can have a delicious lunch. So I've got my Swiss chard, the ricotta, the Parmesan, everything's represented, everything's beautiful. Look. This is probably the healthiest little lunch you could have. It's almost all vegetable and seasonal, and you can do it, as I said, with frozen chopped spinach is how I usually go. You can even make this with frozen kale, or if you take some fresh greens, your favorite ones, just boil them for a few minutes, cool them in the ice water, and then chop them up and drain it real well. Any vegetable you like, really, as long as it's a nice leafy green. Let's go to the counter and we're gonna plate it up so you know exactly what we're doing. So, lunch is ready. My guest of honor, Jeannie, will be here in a second. I'll have to pop open some champagne for my favorite girl. We're gonna plate up the nudie. In the pan, we have our sauce, which was the tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of butter and water. Remember, ours is a little bit orange because we use those yellow and red tomatoes. I like to put it on the bottom you can see the, the smoothness, the chunks of the freshness, how lovely that is. It's going to be a magnificent counterpoint to our nudie, which are so cute and colorful. This is kind of a no guilt meal because it's vegetables and more vegetables and then some more vegetables. But we do have the lusciousness of that ricotta and the parmesan. And now, just to give it a little bit of extra to da, I've got some magnificent Parmigiano Reggiano. This one's a 10 month old and a vegetable grater. No big deal, just a peeler, a few shavings on the top. They just add to that specialness. If you don't wanna do that, go ahead. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but I am gonna tell you how to make it tastier. That's for sure. One last crack of black pepper. 
Again, I'm Emily Adler, the Buttery Babe. Thanks for joining me in